Good morning, Stampers. I'm Meg from Love and Stamps, and today is uh, it's Star Wars Day. So may the fourth be with you. I've got my Star Wars outfit on and everything. Um, okay, I know that Star Wars Day is probably not why you're here, though. You're here because you are as excited as I am about dun -dun -dun, the new catalog. You can see I have a couple tabs for things I want to show you guys this morning. Um, it is live, so now I can show you the inside of it um, and all the fabulous things there. But the project we're gonna do today features new in colors, um, four out of the five, uh, these guys right here, and one of the new um, products that I'm really excited about, the ombre bags. So these, this one happens to be Fresh Freesia. Um, I know if you're just getting started with a new catalog, you're just seeing it for the first time, maybe you haven't memorized all the new colors yet, but they'll come to you quickly, don't worry. Um, so I was just gonna show you guys these fabulous bags. So they're ombre, start here and going up. Lisa, oh, see, good idea. Way to stay up and celebrate your birthday early. <laughs> Happy birthday. Um, hey, Taryn and Tanya and Trish and Sue and everybody. So, um, Ombre bags, I love these. And if I had to pick something that I think is going to um, kind of go quickly at the beginning, so they'll be available for a whole year, so not to worry. But if you wanted to add these to an early order, I would add these ombre gift bags. Plus, you'll have a fabulous sampling of the um, new in colors. And then the other item is the um, in color jewels, these guys. And I think these two things are gonna be pretty hot right at the beginning. So um, make sure you order early and add those to your order right away if you're keen on having those um, shortly. So uh, the project we're gonna do, I have been having so much fun with my pansy petal or pansy patch stamp set, this guy right here. Uh, so this is actually the stamp set that I'm gonna feature this month for um, my monthly card tutorials. And so I have some projects I can show you. I'll give you some sneak peeks as we go. Um, but this is gonna be one of them. So these, um, this cute bag that I'm gonna show you. And this is actually one of the projects that if you um, have at least $50 on your order with me this month, uh, during the month of May, then you'll get this project as one of those two projects that I send in the mail as kits. So. Uh, you can look for these, but you guys ready to get stamping? All right, we have a good a good crew for our new catalog day, um, and May the fourth. So, <laughs> all right, and there's somebody doing some work in our yard. So if we have some um, exciting um, cheering from the uh, canine section, then you'll know kind of what that's about. But let me get this set here. Oh, and in case you didn't see, see here's my May the fourth shirt. Can you see all my fun, uh, <laughs> my fun um, droids on my shirt? Uh, so anyway, okay. So we are, like I said, starting here with um, one of the ombre gift bags, and then I have a um, piece of soft succulent cardstock. Um, and if you hadn't um, already figured out, look the inside of the catalog. So demonstrators have seen this for a little while, but um, we're not allowed to show the inside of the catalog uh, until it goes live. So here are the new in colors. Um, this on page 123 is where you're gonna find the numbers for the cardstock full packs, the um, pads, refills, and the um, Stampin' Blends. And then um, when you are looking for the assortments of things, um, those are gonna be here on 126, so they're a little bit further away. There's a page in between. Um, and actually, this is soft pastel assortment. I'm really excited to get those and try them. But this is where you're gonna find these um, assortment, assortment items. So, all right. We are going to take our ombre bag and we are going to make a cute tag for it. So this is one of the things that I want to make sure I point it out to you because I um, think that these dies could very well get lost in the back of the catalog all by their lonesome. Um, they're the tailor-made tags and I am really a big fan of these. So I'll show you um, a trick for getting rounded rectangles of several, one, two, three, four, four different sizes um, from this tag. I know you're like, wait, how do you not have the tag on there? But I'll show you. Um, and then you can also use these for different things. So we're gonna do a cool buckle card. We're gonna do all kinds of things. But today we're gonna stick with a tag. So I have my pale papaya, which I've die cut with the largest. Here's the tags and how they come together, the largest of the square ones. And you can see some of them have square angles and some of them have rounded angles. So kind of nice, um, different 
options there. And we are going to um, go ahead and layer some pieces of designer series paper on here. Now, um, I have sort of decimated my pansy paper. I have all these like random scraps of it and so forth. Um, but let, let me just point out that there are a lot of great patterns, a lot of great pieces. Um, I have some like card kits that I sent out with my catalogs that feature these. Uh, but we're gonna take some three little tiny scraps. Now I know that you're looking at this and thinking, really Meg, you saved those little scraps, but they're perfect for our tag. So I'm gonna take these, I think I'm gonna make them go this direction, and I am going to um, go ahead and pop these here on our tag. So we're gonna pop these on the back here, maybe, ah, I think kinda like that. All right, now we're going to not worry too much about whether they're straight, which means I'm going to intentionally make them not straight. Um, so that they just, they don't look like, I tried to make them straight and I missed, okay? And then I'm gonna take our um, soft succulent paper here and this punch, which I can't remember the name of all of a sudden. Oh my goodness. Okay, well, leave a comment if you remember what this one's called. It's not brand new, but it is one that I, um, oh, Label Me Lovely, have started to use all the time lately and I love the way it goes with pansies. So it's just a nice, um, sort of elegant shape to go offset the stamp set. All right. Oh, we have a good crew. Hi, guys. Jan and Kelly and Deborah and I see lots of uh, Star Wars wishes. So happy May the 4th, everybody. <laughs> okay, so now this is going to get layered here like so. Um, but before we do that, I want to do some stamping on here. I'm kind of going backwards on our card this morning or our project this morning. Uh, I want to have a pansy on here now. One of the fabulous things about this designer series paper is that it has a pansy page that matches two of the dies. So it has the larger pansies and the smaller pansies and they go kind of like this. And I counted them for you. You can get 25 large pansies without cropping any edges and 28 of the small pansies. Um, so lots of possibilities there. And here's a piece that I cropped a bunch out of already. And you can see that they're perfectly spaced so that you can get full um, shapes with no like mushed edges. So a really nice um, set of options. And here are some of the pansies that I have already die cut for us to choose from this morning. Okay, and one of these is going to go here. So let's go mm, yellow, I'm gonna go with purple. What? Why not? So this pansy's here, and we are going to add some leaves to this. So I thought about die cutting the leaves. There's actually a page of the paper um, like this that has the leaves on it. And yes, you can die cut the leaves from here, but I've used all this. So I'm gonna go back and order more, first of all. It's not, my, not gonna be my first order of the day. It'll be like my third order of the day. Um, cause, cause why not? Uh, but we're going to go ahead and stamp some leaves on here. So I have my, my leaf, um, elements here and I have my evening evergreen and my soft succulent. So these both are new id colors and I didn't put this one together cause I wanted to show you if you haven't gotten a new pad for a while, um, you will want to notice that there's stickers on the back and you can do this kind of however you want. You can label your stamp pads in Japanese if you so desire but I usually peel off this like extra outside thing and toss it so that it's not getting in my way. So let me get rid of that. Ah, it's stuck to my fingers. Okay, and so I'm gonna go ahead and label mine in English. So I peel off this top sticker here and you can see how easy they are to get off once you've gotten rid of that extra um, outside. And then that just goes sort of center left to right there. There you go, on the end of your pad. Now this strip right here with no writing on it, this one goes inside your pad. So I'm gonna peel that off. And then I'm going to pop this here inside. So inside the pad, there is this little tiny tray. Oh my goodness. I don't know if you can hear puppy um, whining. She's so sure she has to be outside. Uh, <laughs> but then um, I'm gonna put this right in here. So now when my pads are open, um, before, and I know because I did this already once today, 
um, I can see which of the two greens I have, okay? So it really um, helps to um, make that a little bit more useful. I'm gonna get some of these pansies and set them out aside. All right, so now um, I want to stamp some leaves, but I'm gonna put them directly on here. And this leaf I think kind of goes on this side, this leaf um, matches it, and this one's gonna go on this side. So I'm gonna take my soft succulent. I don't want them to be super dark, so I'm gonna stamp off once and then stamp on. And same for the evening evergreen when I go over it. And I forgot, I was gonna tell you another tip. I'll do it when we do the pansies. Yes, we're stamping pansies. <laughs> um, so same thing, I'm gonna stamp off with my soft succulent and then also stamp off with my evening evergreen. And I just did it again. Okay, well, you'll see. <laughs> you'll learn soon why I um, uh, why I didn't do exactly what I was planning to. That's okay. All right, then I'm gonna take my Stampin' Dimensionals. And so you can see that we've got um, our, our leaves on there, but we've just stamped them on the background. So that really makes our tag um, very simple, okay? Lana says she always threw something away. What did you throw away? Wait, oh, the stickers. Yes, yeah, don't forget to put this tray sticker in there. That one is um, super useful, so. Uh, okay, and the pads and stickers, Tanya. Yeah, I know. I actually, I got them all mostly ready when I set my pads up the first time, um, but then I didn't put some on because I knew that that would be a helpful tip for somebody, so good. I'm glad it helped you guys. All right, so now this is gonna go here on our um, tag, but I'm going to leave these exactly where I've put them, well, or where they fall when I tape them, and I'm gonna go ahead and get ready to put this on here, but I realize I didn't stamp my greeting yet, and so I'm gonna grab my greeting, which is going to be um, this little happy birthday here, which is also from Pansy Patch. Um, it includes uh, several great greetings, a little um, hello from me to you, wishing you a little extra happiness just because you're you. Um, the little things you do make such a difference. So some nice um, sort of inside the card greetings, although you can use them for the front. I'm gonna go with happy birthday for this one. And evening evergreen makes a great neutral um, sort of uh, substitute for memento black um, or whatnot. And then I'm going to go ahead and pop my um, tag on here. And let's see. Yeah, I'm gonna switch this to this side so that it's a little more balanced um, with the papers, okay? And I want my stitched edge to show, so I'm going to leave um, that stitched edge showing rather than um, centering this and covering that up, okay? See how that kind of adds more interest there when it's just a little bit off so that that stitching comes all the way through, okay? So maybe I'll put my tag over here now. All right. So now what? Um, we clearly need some kind of bow on our tag. And this is the new um, oh pale papaya ribbon that is, uh, it's called like open weave ribbon. And it's really pretty. Um, it comes in all five of the new in colors. It's on the ribbon page. And what um, I love about it is that it has this nice opaque um, outside border. And then it has um, this nice open weave, like it's called, in the center. And I'm gonna go ahead and tie, oh my goodness. Okay, pardon me while I let my dog outside. She does not want to hear our demonstrations this morning. Um, so now she is on her own outside. <laughs> All right, so uh, back to our ribbon tying. I'm gonna go ahead and tie my bow here. Um, I just go ahead and put it through one time and then I'm gonna wrap around and tie here. And I know this is kind of upside down for you, but I'm not great at tying bows completely upside down. Okay, so I'm going to um, shorten my ribbon loops. That's always, um, usually when I, when I find people like, my bows don't come out the way I want, um, <laughs> you can leave a comment if that's you. Um, usually I find that it's because their ribbon loops are a little bit out of proportion. So um, usually if they just snug those loops down a little bit, then they're much happier with their bows. So kind of keep that in mind. Whoops. And then you always cut your ribbon with a nice um, diagonal end. All right, so there is our tag. Okay, so we're coming together here. Um, I also have a clever clasp, I have one left um, here. 
uh, and I'm gonna pop this on. Now, this is gonna stick our tag on here, but we are clearly not done because this bag is beautiful and ombre, but very plain. So there are a couple great things you can do here. Um, hi in Springfield, Cindy. Is that like Simpson Springfield? Like it could be one in any of many, many, or like 48 states or Springfield, Illinois, which is very close to me. <laughs> um, okay, so we're gonna add some background here and I'm gonna pull in my Fresh Freesia ink pad. And this purple is beautiful. I'm super enjoying it. It's a very pinky kind of purple um, and it matches things really well. One of the great things about these new in colors is that they totally change character um, depending on which ones you use. So watch here for a second. I'm gonna add in the one that's missing, which is polished pink and blah. Look at how different that effect is with the pink added in. Or if I take out the Fresh Freesia altogether and just leave apricot and greens, we have a great um, palette right there. I could do the same thing and mix and match and just put in the pink and the greens. These are a great palette. I could do just the lightest colors together. Um, I could do these three without the darker green. So seriously, you get the idea. Um, of these five colors, you can mix and match any two through five of them and get a really neat effect and a different kind of look. So um, these in colors are fabulous. If you um, are one of those people who kind of like wait to see whether I like the in colors, um, Sometimes I've had in colors where I was like, oh, I don't know, um, I'll get used to them. I always do, but these right away from the very start have been um, outstanding, so I'm a big fan. All right, now I'm gonna show you my pansy stamping tri trick, which I meant to do earlier and kept forgetting. And so I'm gonna set my tag aside and I'm gonna bring in the pansy stamps. So for this pansy, there are, um, so I know that it can be overwhelming. You look at this, you're like, oh my gosh, Meg, there's so many stamps there. Um, it's really not hard. They go together. So just like the leaves go together, um, these two leaves go together, okay? Um, the pansies also go together. So I have these um, larger size here, and then there's these, two, like um, this masky part here that's gonna go with them too. And then there's gonna be um, the little beard inside and there's two sizes of beard, so good rule of thumb is if you're doing the big pansy, use the big beard. And where is that one? Here it is. Okay, and then um, we'll get to the smaller pansy later, but they're like kind of lined up together on the box, all right? So you can kind of use this as your guide. These two, these two, these four, these three, and then these pieces together, all right? It's like they make it easy for us. Now here's my trick. <clears throat> it's really tempting to want to stamp the biggest stamp first, and then go back and add the insides. But if you stamp the darker insides first, okay, then you will find that it is so much easier to line up the um, outer part, okay? So this is gonna be full strength. Then this part here is gonna be stamped off. So I'm gonna stamp off once, and then I need to um, stamp that lighter outline there. So stamp off and stamp this around it. And you can maybe see that it is so much easier to do my two-step stamping in this order where I have the dark image there first because I can see where I'm trying to put my next image, okay? Um, sometimes we have a history of always stamping the outside first and then adding layers, building up, but this is so much easier this way. All right, um, then I'm gonna go ahead and stamp off and add this little beard right inside here. And then I'm going to add our, um, the sort of dark beard here. And you can see how quickly these pansies come together and what a great decoration they are here for our tag, okay? So there is our, our pansies. Now I felt like I could use just a little bit more in some of those spaces. So I went ahead and pulled in my small pansies and we're gonna do the same trick. I'm gonna to remember to use my, see this is me remembering, um, use my darkest outline first, okay? And I could put one more up here, but when you think, oh, should I add one more? That is the time to stop. Do not add the, oh, maybe one more, okay? At least that's what I found. And then for my background, I'm gonna stamp off, and you can see how easy it is to line these babies up by looking directly down through my photopolymer stamp, all right? And this one needs a little baby beard. 
I'll have to try and post some pictures later. I have pansies on my front porch that are so very happy right now. And then at the very end, we have this little um, center stamp, which sort of gives a little pansy nose and fills in. If you have a different color, um, it shows up a little more. This one's pretty subtle, but. All right, now I am going to take my tag and pop this back on here with a little clip. And there we have our very fun and simple pansy uh, bag. So you could do this, of course, with any of the colors of, pan of pansies, any of the colors of bags from the um, ombre gift bag. So I've done a couple of the freesia ones. You could certainly do it in polished pink. Um, you could do it in apricot. You could do green ones. Um, you can see how the other um, pansies really layer nicely um, with all of these. If you're looking for something fun to do with a new in colors, um, these ombre bags are great and the pansy suite is just perfect. Um, it is really designed to go well with the in colors. So um, it features a lot of them and you will have a good time um, using these new in colors, which is why I picked it for my um, tutorial for this month, my um, monthly tutorial. So um, I always do a um, tutorial series each month with four video tutorials that I share here. And then there's a printable um, PDF that comes free if you place any size order in my online store um, during the month and you get that by email. So if you've already placed your order today, woohoo, good job guys. Um, that tutorial will be coming um, a little later in the week as I get things together. And then you also at the end of the month get two projects um, in a to-go kit that gets mailed to your doorstep and this is gonna be one of them. So everything will be um, die cut for you, the pansy, the tag, the punch is done. You'll get all the little pieces um, and you'll be able to make your own ombre bag. So, all right, you guys wanna see some other pansy projects? Because like I said, there's four. So this is just the first one. Um, another one I think that I've showed you before um, is this one, which features um, the designer series paper kind of there um, in the background and a stamped pansy. So this one's stamped and die cut. Um, then I also have um, a buckle card that I'm gonna show you a little later. And this uses the tag to do something a little bit different. Kind of see how that works. And I'll give you some cutting and scoring directions, but this one uses the same um, pansy punch. But any of these that have the punched pansy paper, you could of course stamp your own pansies. <clears throat> All right, and then the last one is one of my um, favorites. So I will admit when I first saw this die set and I saw all these dies, I was a little bit overwhelmed by like all these pieces and oh my gosh, how do you put them together? <clears throat> the, the nice thing is that they're simple to use. Um, they layer perfectly, like literally perfectly, because um, their dies are designed to go together, and they're really fun. Um, so really my recommendation is to mix and match and start prepping, or start cutting some things and put some pansies together, but here is the card that I will be showing you as part of the Love and Stamps monthly tutorials for the month of May. So lots of good ideas there. All right. So what um, would I say if somebody asked me, okay, Meg, I love the new catalog and, eeks, sorry guys, <laughs> I love the new catalog and I don't know what to get first. So I often find that I get the new in colors first because those are um, something that I know I'm going to use. They're often featured in designer series paper and suites um, for the next two years and they um, they all pop up again and again. You'll be really happy you have them. So um, I would get new in colors. Um, then what would I get? I would get the Pansy Suite. And I looked at, uh, or put a marker on my catalog here for you. The Pansy Suite is on page 28 and 29. And there is a suite collection. Um, the thing I didn't show you um, was the Bumblebee Trinkets. And they are super darling. Um, they're back ordered right now, but they'll be back by the end of the month. So you can go ahead and order those and just know that they'll ship separately later. Your order won't hold waiting for those. You'll get everything else and they'll just come later in the mail. Um, and so Pansy Suite, I would get next because you know I'm gonna teach you some great things to do with it. And um, shortly when I get it posted, there'll be a link to the um, Loven Stamps monthly tutorials on my website at lovenstamps.com. Um, where you can see the supplies that you're going to want, and it's basically the in colors in the pansy suite. 
Um, and then those fabulous tags, which I think are kind of a sleeper in the catalog. I'm pretty sure they'll be overlooked by a lot of people because they're not connected in a bundle to anything. Um, and that's those tailor-made tags there. So, um, all right, what else would I get? Um, and actually, oh, I was gonna show you this too. So the tailor-made tags aren't in a bundle, but they are shown in the catalog. And they're shown here on this page with um, the itty bitty, um, oh, banner year. Um, and so they use the tags there on, oops, sorry, wrong page. They use the tags there on greeting cards. Um, so you can see that green one and on a bag, like kind of like the one we did. So, um, all right, what else would I get right away? I would flip through and I would um, look at sweets um, that you just absolutely adore or stamps that kind of fill a need. So um, if you feel like you need guy card stamps, um, the one that I use, a, um, well, that I use a lot, I don't have it yet, but I'm really looking forward to it and it's already ordered and I'll have it later this week, um, is the Hats Off bundle and that is this one. And it is um, kind of a great, well, it's a, a kind of a cool, uh, you know, big baseball cap there with all kinds of things that you can put on it. Um, some of them are like, it says dad, so that's clearly dad oriented, but um, you could use this for anybody. So a ball player or somebody who's a ball fan. I know we all um, around here have the Cubs cards rivalry. <laughs> um, so whoever your team is, you'll have to be making some hats in the right colors. Um, but there are so many fun things uh, in this catalog. And um, you will be able to look at the catalog PDF um, on my uh, website. That'll be posted shortly also. Um, we couldn't post all those things before today. So um, lots of things to do when the catalog goes live. But the um, PDF is available uh, through my online store, I think too, at the very bottom where it says catalogs. Um, and you uh, can get a paper copy of this that I am happy to um, drop you in the mail if you just leave me a note and let me know that you want one. So uh, let's see. Trying to think what else is new. Oh, oh my gosh, so silly. So Meg, what would I get if I want all of it? What if I want everything in the catalog? My wish list is so long. Well, if your wish list is $155 at least, then the absolute best choice that you could make is to join my Lopen Stampfuls demonstrator family. Um, and the way that works is this. There is a demonstrator starter kit. You get an extra $30 for free with your kit during the month of May, which is super exciting. So you would want to um, go to lovenstamps.com, look at the top of the bar and look for the join my team information. And the reason that that is so fabulous is that you get $155 of whatever you want for $99. The shipping is free, so you're just paying tax and then you get that great discount. Plus then your own orders that you place after that are at a 20%, at least 20% discount. So um, if you have more questions about becoming a demonstrator, let me know. Um, there's lots of information on my website there um, that you can check out at lovenstamps.com. And I'm always happy to answer questions. So uh, I know some people have been looking forward to that uh, special price that's coming up. So that is coming. And let's see, what else? Meg, the catalog is new. What else do I need to know? Um, oh, one other thing. If you are interested in hosting a party um, or if you have a really large order and you're not interested in the demonstrator starter kit, um, orders that are, uh, or hostess orders, uh, so like a party um, or the, um, uh, sorry, people are asking questions. So I have uh, answers to, for those two. They're coming. I'll get you, Paula. Uh, and thank you, Sue. Um, so if your party total or your single order is more than $350, then you get an extra $25 um, for free in product. So that is going on during the month of May now too. So you can look for that. If you're shopping online in my online store, it'll pop up automatically. So your cart gets um, to the you know part where you're redeeming Stampin' Rewards. If the cart merchandise total reaches 350, then you'll, you'll trigger that extra $25 in addition to the normal hostess benefits. So that's pretty fabulous. Um, if you are interested in having a, um, a stamping party, I would love to be your demonstrator. Um, we can do a number of different things. So um, I've done some virtual parties where we have a great time together. Um, we have a Zoom call, craft kit comes in the mail, everybody stamps, we get together virtually. Um, it's a lot of fun. So let me know if you're interested in one of those and I can get you information about those. I feel like I'm waving this catalog around. 
Um, I'm just so excited to see it. So, okay, so back to the questions. Somebody asked me about kits. That is a really good question. So the kits actually um, are not in this catalog. So Stampin' Up! is coming out with a new kit program, which is gonna be perfect for online parties. Um, and it will debut soon, not yet. Uh, and so a lot of those kit things are gonna be coming up and those will be um, available separately and you could, you'll be able to browse in my online store. Um, Paula demonstrators can actually pre-order the kits starting today. So if you're already a demonstrator, um, that information is on the demonstrator website. Um, or if you are signing up to be a demonstrator because you're taking advantage of the, um, the join special and that $155 um, fabulous deal, then I can help you with that too. Um, you'll get information from me when you sign up with me as your demonstrator uh, and so forth. So, all right, um, good questions. Uh, and I think that that kind of covers us for this morning and our catalog kickoff project debut. So um, I'll just show this in case you're just tuning in at the end. So this is what we made this morning, our super fun um, pansy bag, which is a really great showcase of the new in color. So we've got pale papaya, soft succulent, fresh freesia on here. There's a tiny bit of um, polished pink in the background, evening evergreen. So we've got actually five out of five on here, but mostly six of them, or mostly four of them, I guess. Um, anyway, so grab your new in colors. A link is in the video description for the in colors at least, and I will get the link posted for the full um, project uh, supply list shortly. So, all right, guys, let me know if you have any questions. I'm really excited. It's a fabulous new catalog day, and it is... Um, May 4th. So again, may the 4th be with you. <laughs> Happy stamping.